Hey, what is going on guys? It is Joshua here and in today's video I am just doing a quick short tutorial on how to make radial wipes in After Effects. Now this is just a simple tutorial, not doing much, but here we go. So first, all you need to do is hit new composition. You want to make sure lock aspect ratio is turned off. Now you want to make width 3000 and height 3000. Now I'm going a little bit fast because I'm trying to get this done quick. But so now we're just going to call this composition radial wipe. All right, and as you can see, now we got a square. You see how I made it bigger than 1920 by 1080? Well, you're gonna see why. So now I'm gonna make a circle and we're gonna make it red. Yeah, let's just, actually, let's make it white. And then we're gonna use the ellipse tool to scale up a little bit. There we go. That's pretty good right there. Make a quarter quality because I'm gonna lag. All right, now what we wanna do is open up the effects and presets panel. All right, so now that this loaded, we're gonna type in radial white and we're just gonna drag that on there. And we're going to make this 95. As you can see, it did that. If you want to drag it, you can just drag it to 95. But now, we just need to duplicate the shape layer. And let's move the start angle 40 degrees. As you can see, we did that. I'm just going to move it 80 degrees for next shape layer. And we're going to keep doing this until we got enough to complete the circle. And I'm not giving this out as a preset. You all have to follow the tutorial because I'm not going to just give this out. It's my effort and that's 320. All right, there we go. So now we got our radial wipe. Now what we want to do is we want to pre-comp all these shape layers. I'm going to call this radi radial shapes if I can type. And then now what we're going to do, since we've done that, we're going to change radial wipe to 1920 by 1080. And as you can see, it's a normal resolution. Um, I'm going to just go to auto. And as you can see, the reason why I did this is, as you can see, it's still a square. So you see that? Now we can rotate it easily. See, now that's just the easiest way to make a radial wipe. So I'm going to show you how you can design it, make it look pretty, right after I kind of add some rotation here. So we're going to actually make this maybe a two. See if that's long. See if that's quick enough let's make that about three yeah it looks good all right so now that we got that now we're gonna pull out an adjustment layer and then just copy it like so and now we can add gradient ramp and then we're gonna do that and it's gonna play around with this ramp make it look nice I think that's a good ramp right there. And then what I'm gonna do, sounds like I'm just doing a voiceover. Um, now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna make this like, maybe down there, and I'm gonna zoom in a little bit, cause I um, kinda need that. Good thing about this is that you can zoom in how many times you want, and it's not gonna like, change the look of it whatsoever. But now I'm just gonna make this, maybe a, a blue. And then like make this maybe a darker blue and then like kind of move it over just a little bit more i don't know maybe like maybe right there it's okay i don't know yeah it looks fine for now and i'm gonna add venetian blinds then we're gonna put that on top of there we're gonna increase the width and we'll kind of slant it a little bit as you can see, we got a pretty nice little pattern right here. Now I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate that if I want to go and make kind of this squarish shape. That just looks real good right there. And I could probably like swap the colors around, maybe put this gradient ramp on there. Uh, let me just... And you see that right there? That looks good. But basically, that's just the easiest way you can make some radial wipes. You can add drop shadows however you want to. I'm going to just show you best drop shadow settings for this. You're going to go just place the drop shadow on there. Rotation is 180. And make the opacity down a little bit. And then we're going to drop it there. And as you can see, that looks pretty good. Kind of reminds me of actual, like, early days of actual effects of channel. Don't hate on me, actual, I'm just saying. Alright guys, this tutorial helped you. Just, um, leave a like. And share some of your friends. It, 
if they want to like start on After Effects. I don't know. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope it helped. I'm going to be doing more tutorials like this. If we can get this video to 100 likes, then I am going to make a full tutorial. All right. Have a great day. Peace out.